Well, we have uh, Andrew Jessup from Australia out. Uh, the industry specifically um, invited him out because of his experience with Queensland's fruit fly, which is very similar to, which is a Bacterocerus species and similar to our Bacterocerus dosalis. So maybe, Andrew, just as a start, if you could give us um, a little bit of uh, background on the biology of Queensland's fruit fly mm. and the association that it would have with dorsalis. Yeah, th uh, thanks Hugh. Um, Queensland fruit fly is a Bactrocera species just as a uh, oriental fruit fly or Bactrocera dorsalis. Mm. I think a lot of people here call them it BD. BD, yeah. Um, so what we found with the Queensland fruit fly is it's a highly invasive species and over the last 10 years or so in, on the east coast of Australia the Queensland fruit fly has um, changed its habitat enormously from subtropical, tropical sort of areas, coastal, down into much cooler climates and drier climates um, previously thought habitable by the Queensland fruit fly. So it's adapted it's invaded these areas and it's caused massive problems with uh, exports and production down there. Um, and we've, internationally we've found that Bacterocera dorsalis right. is exactly the same. It's highly invasive and its uh, entry into Africa about uh, nearly about 15 or so years ago is demonstrated demonstrably that uh, it is a very invasive species.